Hi, welcome to online tutorial videos from JCBRO Labs. We are happy to announce that we are starting a new tutorial series based on Arduino and IoT. That means uh, Arduino and Internet of Things with a slogan of making a connected world. So in this tutorial series, we will be dealing uh, IoT. We will be dealing with Arduino. We will be learning about IoT devices. We will be creating several uh, exciting stuff in order to understand the basic concepts. Okay, so as all of you know, the Arduino is nothing but just a software which is used to program a microcontroller, and specifically they used uh, AVR based microcontrollers. Right, so there are several other softwares also like Arduino as well, uh, which are used to program other microcontrollers also. So uh, this particular Arduino is famous because it uh, supports several ready to build or several uh, it's, uh, custom uh, general purpose development boards like this Arduino Uno and Arduino Mega and apart from it this comes this boards comes with uh, several other uh, devices like ethernet shield through which we can connect internet uh, we can send data to internet or uh, if we talk about a specific and uh, we can directly interface these uh, ir sensors and several other like rtc real time clock bluetooth module temperature sensor so we, in this tutorial series we will be trying to use or we will be uh, interfacing all of these hardware devices and these peripheral components to these boards so this is uh, one of the arduino mini board uh, which is uh, very small in size and it can be programmed easily and these are find several best applications in order to create iot devices similarly we will be learning about this esp based uh, device which comes with uh, inbuilt wi-fi module here and it can also be programmed like arduino from other id but from other id so we will be learning how to do programming on this and how to send data like temperature sensor data or distance data over the internet so that is a brief about Arduino and I hope I know you may be excited about learning to it or you may be learn you could be a new fresher or you could be a, uh, doing programming on already on Arduino so in this tutorial series you will learn several other aspects uh, several other things as well and which will be focused towards the project building okay uh, so let's start with the basic softwares which will be required to uh, to getting started with this course so one of the uh, first basic uh, software which is required is to get the arduino id okay so id means uh, design integrated development environment so if you search directly on mat uh, on internet you will find the first link for arduino home so from here if you are uh, using whether uh, op uh, whether uh, Microsoft based systems or any Ubuntu based system or Linux based system then all kind of support is provided here so go here to software section to the downloads and then in download you can get your uh, required installer or software from here so if you are trying to install Linux so there are some two or three extra commands are there which uh, you will be required to run in order to successfully build a uh, successful build the project on uh, Linux based system so those things you can uh, uh, check out from this side just you type Arduino on Linux or Arduino on Ubuntu so you will find this link Arduino Linux and several other instructions will be provided here how to start first to get the uh, I uh, download software from this site and then you need to uh, extract the package then proceed with this command on terminal window like first you need to type this one and after installing uh, generally one of the problem occur on Linux based system like it doesn't recognize the com port such problem is not with the uh, Microsoft based system so in order to do that to run or to connect the board on Linux based system like on Ubuntu you need to first type this command and then type this command uh, 
uh, with uh, to, uh, it is exactly providing a permission uh, to access the com port from your Arduino IDE. So that's it. You need to uh, that will be uh, that's it. You need to do on Linux, and this is the only difference at the starting difference between uh, Office-based system, Microsoft-based system, or Windows-based system, and the Ubuntu-based systems. Okay, so I hope you will understand it and you will arrange your setup. Once you uh, install all these things, so there will be an icon like this. Uh, like this icon will be there. So if we open it, okay. Uh, so uh, uh, such kind of window will appear up. Now, in this currently, we are, have connected this Arduino Uno board to the computer. So in our upcoming videos, we will be using several others like Arduino Mega and several others as well. So right now we have connected this Arduino Uno to the desktop. So now if everything goes fine, uh, if all the hardwares are installed, now as soon as you connect to the uh, to your computer Arduino to your computer then you can verify all uh, verify that device from the device manager of your micro um, of your computer management system so go to device manager and then here you will find like ports are connected so Arduino is connected to COM7 so if I unplug it so it will refresh and that particular port will go and if I connect it again it will automatically come up so this Arduino is communicating to the micro to computer through this serial port okay so now coming to this I hope I think this is behind the camera screen okay so here if I disconnect it you will don't get put and I connect it you will get such kind of port number here like this one Arduino no COM7 okay so once when you checked it then you can further check set uh, if you are running this Arduino ID for the first time then go to the tools and then you need to connect board and you need to select the desired board so this kind of uh, information may be a little different on Ubuntu or on the latest versions of this Arduino ID but you need to select your board and then you can set the port number so you need to select this COM7 and then uh, to check whether your device connected you need to take, uh, select this board info so all the information will available here now you need to further check whether your board is uh, for, uh, working perfectly or not you can open several examples so the best is go to basic uh, file examples basic and then blink so this is a program to blink this inbuilt LED which is right now flashing at a one second interval so uh, to check it you just uh, don't need to do anything just verify all these information like port is selected and just press this arrow key which is upload button and now it will compile the sketch whatever your code is there it will compile it and it will download the hex file or the that particular code inside to your microcontroller and then your microcontroller will start working as per your requirement so now this LED has started blinking at one second interval okay so now in our upcoming videos you will learn like how to change this mm, this kind of blinking rate of LED or how to access uh, any individual pin of this microcontroller okay. so I hope you like this video so if you have any doubt or any suggestion then you can comment uh, let us know by commenting below to this video further uh, we also provide online tuitions and provide freelance based projects uh, on Arduino and other technologies like um, MATLAB, LabVIEW and image processing or control system so if you have any such requirement then you can contact us at uh, w at jcbrolabs at gmail.com or you can contact us at through our website which is www.jcbrolabs.org so that's it for this and more exciting stuff will come up in the upcoming videos so that's it for this video thank you